stop to get gas now. Uh, we will be making a few stops in North Carolina, in South Carolina. So I just wanted to check with you. I've been on the road for three hours now, getting some gas, and then we will be heading to our first destination for the day. So yes, yeah, so first stop in, we are in Virginia, heading to, um, where are we heading? We're heading to Savannah, Georgia. So we're making a few stops. So just stop for gas and restroom break. I'm waiting for the girls. I have company today. I'm waiting for the ladies. They're in the restroom right now so we can get on the road. It's been a long morning so far. The traffic through DC and Baltimore was a bit uh, hectic, but we got through. So just good morning. So. We will be checking in when we get to our first stop for the day. All right, ciao, ciao. Our first stop was in Asheville, North Carolina to visit the Biltmore Mansion. We spent just a few hours there visiting, as you can see in the picture, such a very big, big property uh, building. It was big we didn't even finish to visit the whole thing because we got there late that afternoon uh i think just two hours before they closed so we spent about two hours maybe two and a half hours there visiting so big so nice and beautiful you will see the architecture the decor everything was just so amazing so i'm going to share with you a few clips from that visit you've seen some of the pictures i think this you see not right now that's the main dining room you see the ceiling, all the beautiful decorations and the, the architecture, the tables, the chairs. Yeah. So enjoy these few clips of the built more mansion. I always wanted to go there and I was happy that we were able to stop there. So we spent some time visiting there as our first step. After that, we will be walking through the city of Asheville a little bit. You will see a few clips where we stop to get something to eat at one of the local restaurants. To get some southern food so enjoy this clip and um, stay tuned to continue to see the rest of our short wood trip or oh. yes so it was a short wood trip we wished we had more time to spend at each stop every destination but because we had limited days to do this so we only were very brief at every location as you will see so stay tuned to continue to enjoy this wood trip with us First stop today was the Biltmore House. The Biltmore House we are living now, but that was our first stop for today. Very big, 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 big building. Oh, not building, house. It's a mansion. I cannot even take a panoramic view of it. It is so big and so huge. So this is the ladies. We are heading back now to the shuttle. To, uh, to go get something to eat so that was our first stop for today we're just done now yep let's get to the shuttle the Biltmore house okay this is Asheville Asheville North Carolina it's a nice city I like it so it's Sabin so it's so cold The picture of that monument. After visiting the Biltmore Mansion, we walked through Asheville, North Carolina for a few minutes and then we stopped to have dinner. This is the place, the restaurant where we had dinner. And after dinner, we walked around town a little bit more and then we went to our hotel for the night so this was the end of day one stay tuned to continue to enjoy the rest of this short whoop trip with us on day two we started at the great smoky mountain with a nice hike i am going to make a special video for the hike because i have too many clips it would be too long to include in to include in this video so you may want to come back to check out the video that i made just for the hike this is just a brief highlight as you see currently on the screen we did see a bear on the trail while hiking 
So you may want to come back to check out the video that I made just on the hike. The rest of this video will be just the different steps we made at different cities and places on the way to Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. So hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I love aquarium. I love aquarium myself. Okay. We are about to visit the Ripley's Aquarium. This is the second step for the day. I love aquarium, so it was my idea. This is such a big aquarium. I love aquariums. I know Vasi is laughing at me. I'm taking the kids, but I love aquarium myself. So I'm about to visit the Ripley's Aquarium. the Ripley's Aquarium, second stop for the day. Welcome to Ripley's. Hi, how are you? Today, we are visiting the Nazca Hall of Fame today. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Visiting the Nazca Hall of Fame. This is the, the ladies. Miss <laughs> Misana, where are you going? Miss Amisana, where are you going? Miss Amisana, where are you going? 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 Anyway, so yeah, we are visiting the Hall of Fame.
ma fa foto non sa mai so yes yeah we are about to visit the hall of fame i have sabin vasi and sanaya behind me today is day three we are in charlotte north carolina about to visit the hall of fame so ciao ciao we will check with you later folks In Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the Nazca Hall of Ethan used to watch that a lot. Yeah. He used to be into cars. So we spent some time at the Nazca Hall of Fame in Charlotte, North Carolina. We visited the, the place. It was very cool. As you see in the pictures here, we took some cool photos. And it was very nice to see the different cars displayed. This is a car from the movie Cars, if you saw that movie and uh yeah it was fun it was a very fun time and we enjoyed it that was one of the stops that we wanted to do in north carolina and we we're very happy and pleased that we got to check that out it was very fun after that we are going to stop briefly in charleston not for long we're just there for the afternoon just for lunch and to walk around charleston i have to go back to charleston to spend uh, maybe a couple of days or a long weekend so I can really explore the area as our time was very short there. This is in Charleston, North Carolina. Right now, this clip you are seeing as we walked around town, we just enjoyed getting some ice cream, getting something to eat, and enjoy the beautiful weather by the water. After that, we will be heading to Savannah. So stay tuned for the remaining of this trip. Thank you so much. Good job. That's very nice. Currently in Savannah, Georgia. I am by the ocean. We are going to take a river boat tour. Uh, this is the boat we are going to get on in a moment. Uh, I'm just waiting for Vasti to join me with Sabine. They were at the Starbucks getting something to eat. So at the, in the meantime, I'm just walking on the, uh, by the port by the water just to enjoy this beautiful beautiful morning in savannah georgia it's very nice here so today we'll be touring savannah doing a boat tour and a um, bus tour of this town so we get to know the town more okay so this is it today folks we will check in with you later. This is Savannah, Georgia. Very beautiful town. Very nice.
referring to parts of the ship. Generally just directions referring to parts of the ship. You'll hear me say bow. Uh, bow, of course, refers to the front of the vessel where I am up here by the pilot house. This is the bow of the ship. You'll also hear me say stern. Stern referring to the rear of the vessel, the back of the ship. And then you'll hear me say starboard, starboard side being right side here, and then port side being left. A quick tip, uh, quick tip with that, left and port, both have four letters, P-O-R-T, L-E-F-T, port left. Just a little helpful. The Savannah River is the third busiest port in the entire country. Third busiest port in the United States of America. Number one being Los Angeles, California. Number two being Newark, New Jersey. And then uh, uh, coming in at number three, our beautiful antebellum city of Savannah. Nothing uh, better illustrates this, I think, physically than what we're coming under right now. This is, of course, the Eugene Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Dolphin! Dolphin off of our starboard side. There she is, coming in and out of the water. We love our beautiful dolphins here in the Savannah River. You might wonder what makes this port such just as it is. And if you're wondering why, I can answer that question. Three words that would be location, location, location. So I'll put it this way, folks. On the eastern coast, we are the westernmost port. So if you're looking at the east coast, we are the westernmost. The reason why that's advantageous it's because it allows uh, sh uh, ships and different companies that are bringing their products inland less fuel expenditure to transport their goods uh, further inland. They have less, uh, less. We are still on the boat tour, almost done. After that, we are going to take a, um, get on a tour bus to visit the city of Savannah. So stay tuned as we continue to navigate through Savannah and enjoy the beautiful clip. Right now we are walking towards the bus company where we'll be heading to uh, more sightseeing in the city. So enjoy these clips as we get through Savannah. This is now the office where we'll be getting on the bus to visit Savannah more. Stay tuned for the remaining of this video. Trading. I've actually known to be quite the anthropology in the field. I think I got my first commission at the Albion Chapel in Bosby, London. Ah, oh, it's the age of 23. <laughs> of course, the building no longer stands. However, I would leave my mark half the world away. Now, I was only in the city for about four years before turning back to England. But I managed to fundamentally change the landscape of this city by designing and constructing the William Scarborough House, um, now that is the Maytime Ships of the Sea Museum, the Bullock House, the Richardson House, um, now known as the Owens Thomas House, and the Alexander <coughs> Telfair Mansion. <laughs> of course, as a proud patron of the arts as well, I helped design and construct the Savannah Theatre, which you can see right over here. Only three of the original walls still remain. Hey, trolley world, we shall trolley. This is one of the actors who just performed for us a little bit. We that's one of the stops uh, uh, with the tour with the bus tour we had. We stop at this theater where they have different actors come in and give us a nice little performance. So we enjoyed this as now we are going to continue our bus tour through the city of Savannah. Stay tuned for more.
beautiful national landmark home. Now, if you're going to be here tomorrow, I'm sure it will be open for the story. That's the home where General William Tecumseh Sherman headquarters. To have anybody on the board who's not read the book or saw the movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, it was on what? The uh, New York bestseller was what? Like 255 weeks? Because it was a very prominent man the filming of that movie. Because one of the first major Hollywood productions in Savannah was filmed on that estate. Georgia. My name is Captain Winifred of the Beelzebub and I am a privateer of the United States Navy. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, she's totally a pirate. No, I assure you, I am but a privateer. But how does one become the other? War. The War of 1812, in fact. You see, the newborn nation of the United States didn't have much of a navy. So President Madison starts writing out these things called letters of mark to pirates to let them know that they can go ahead and start attacking the enemies of this nation. So really, you can think of us more as like a naval militia. And I like that one better. It's a bit more fancy, don't you think? So when you had a ship, you had three choices with it, okay? You can go ahead and you can seize that whole ship and you can take it to an American port. Or, and this one's my personal favorite, you can burn the ship, rendering it unusable to the enemy. Or, if you're in a really good mood, you can go ahead and you can cartel it. And that is where you seize just the cargo, but you let the crew and their vessel return home safely. Now, whichever your choice, once you got back to an American port, you'd have to file a claim in private court. And that, my friends, is how you made your money. <laughs> Another personal favorite of mine. <laughs> but then you'd have to file a claim in Admiralty Court. And that's where it's decided whether or not your act of piracy is legal or illegal. And as you can imagine, there's always a little bit of gray area in that one. But no worries, because here in Savannah, we had Honorable Judge William Stevens, who was a good friend of the privateer and he made Savannah quite a favorable port for our work. <laughs> I'm not gonna bog you down with all the legals of it, so I'll be shoving off here, but I just wanted to come aboard and say hello, welcome, thank you so much for choosing us today, and I hope you have a safe journey with fair winds. <laughs> thank you, thank you for coming out. Hey guys, if you're gonna be here tomorrow, again, Massey Combination is and our maritime history is represented there very well as well. That second floor right through. Everything in there is original except for the wooden desk. Of course, those were burnt during uh, Sherman's mm -hmm. stay here in Savannah. But go up there, let your kiddos experience Savannah. Of course, it is a great museum. Go in there and check out some of her first works. The Hamilton Turner Inter Rock History will get into businesses and ends. Go up to the website. That's very important to us because that was the very first private residence outfitted for electricity in 1883. Because on the southwest corner, a Charles Kluski 1848 design man, beautiful property, now owned by our colonial days of America, and it is a museum you can visit. But the little carriage house on the rear of it is where his daughter-in-law, Miss Julia Cordwell, well, and her cousin, Miss Nina Payton, who taught him that school, started what would become the Girl Scouts of the United States of America. Down here. Am I losing anybody to visit? This is 
a Haitian monument in Georgia in honor of my of my ancestors, my Haitian people. So I came here to honor them. The Haitian memorial in Atlanta, Georgia, in Savannah, Georgia. This is my Haitian folks. Let's see. You see, oh my God, my, my Haitian people. So I came here to honor. Yes, I came here. Yep. I came here to honor my Haitian folks, my ancestors. They fought for this town. Oh my God, this is so nice. <laughs> okay. Yep, so this is in honor of my ancestors, my Haitian folks. Uh, and we are so divided. That is so, so true. Divided. Let's Since leave. I've been in this trip, they have me make me walk, walk, walk. And they grab me with ice cream. <laughs> and then since this morning, let me complain to the people. Since this morning, I was supposed to have ice cream for breakfast. They skip breakfast, breakfast, they skip lunch. Breakfast. They just, let me tell you, I just paid for my dinner and then they brought me again for ice cream. Now, yeah, the ice cream is half walk. of a mile. We will get her ice cream, we will treat her with ice cream. Half of a mile, people, That's for, a, for a quarter of ice cream. <laughs> that was promised, <laughs> that was promised to me since this morning. That's a conspiracy. <laughs> don't, don't come to, don't come when they invited you no more. <laughs> when they invite you. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's happy. She loves it. She will enjoy oh, the ice cream. What I said we're supposed to oh, that's what happy looks like. Even, <laughs> even if we know one of us will do it, we can show you. I'm saying, oh, it's good for your heart, honey. <laughs> yeah, the nurse has spoken, okay? That's the next time. We're not going to take no nurse, nurse, no psychologist behind us. Because they... Social they, worker, they, they Social right? worker, no. That's I'm oh. from ass. <laughs> you from your mama? You from your mama, Vasi? That's good. Come on, Come on, Vasi. 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 Come on, License. You're not. You're not. You're not registered all over the place. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You can visit. We will. We will. We will. At this point, we are just exploring the beautiful weather by the water in Savannah, Georgia. We had just finished eating dinner at this time, and they have a nice, um, it's not a boardwalk, but as you see, it's an area, it's not a board, but it's um, made, uh, what's the, it's more with concrete, but we call it a boardwalk anyway. We are just enjoying that nice promenade, or you will call it a promenade by the water, enjoying the weather and kind of digesting our dinner. Because after that, we are going to walk to the Leopold ice cream place, where we will be. Look at these babies. <laughs> Beautiful babies. Where we will be spending a long time, like an hour, waiting in line to get ice cream so that will be next now just enjoying this beautiful views of the city of Javana, uh, savannah by the water it was such a beautiful day we are just enjoying our time that's nice and so I stay tuned enjoying the last day the last day doesn't have, enjoying the last day doesn't have to be that's a business for sabine <laughs> enjoying the last day doesn't mean i have to walk and walk and walk
at this point it started to rain drizzle and the rain started to come down so we are going to take a break to pause to wait for the rain to pass before we continue our walk towards the Leopold ice cream uh, for the for the last activity that we had uh, left for the day so uh, stay tuned again we are going to spend some time here waiting for the rain to be over and then we'll be heading to Leopold soon the next sleep will be at the Leopold ice cream stay tuned this is the line to get ice cream people Leopold ice cream we walk how far did we walk Basti? <laughs> we walk forever <laughs> We, we walked, we walked, we walked again, but we made it. And I got my 10,000 steps, so I'm okay now. <laughs> so, anyway, I just wanted to show you folks. This is the line to get ice cream. It anyway, might be 30 minutes. So, we heard this is the spot. If you're in Savannah, you must come to Leopold. So, we are here, waiting patiently in line. It's it, it better be famous. It's a seven in the end. It's a fast seven in It's telling you, Leopold, we were here like, it's Leopold. Leopold. I know. It's not Leopold. Because I know. We're That's French, our French, French accent. We know Leopold. Yeah. It's a I better know. Leopold. Leopold. I know that's the Leopold. Leopold, no. Monsieur Leopold. 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 <laughs> Yeah, but um, Oui, yeah. the Google Leah, and I said Google them Leopold. Anyway, so this is it, folks. This is yeah. the situation. We are here in line waiting for ice cream. It's going to be good. As we're standing in line, we met this beautiful couple. You know, this is the line. Unfortunately, I didn't get their names, but they were very kind. After we got to the cashier to get our ice cream, they paid for us. This guy and his wife, you see, standing with Basti and Sabine, they were very kind, so they were very generous. They paid for our ice cream. We just want to give kudos to them, a good shout out. Unfortunately, we didn't get their names, but they were so friendly. Anyway, by now, after waiting in line for a good hour or so, we are finally inside of the Leopold ice cream waiting to be served so we're looking at the different flavors different uh types of ice cream they have so we can make our selections i believe i had something with uh frozen chocolate rum raisin um what else did i have i think i had the cherry cherry something vanilla cherry uh, i know i had three scoops i wanted that ice cream so bad so i had three big scoops and kudos for this beautiful, wonderful couple. They they were visiting from Jacksonville, Florida, and they did pay for all of our ice creams. That was very generous of them. They didn't have to do that. It was a nice treat and a nice surprise. We just want to thank them again. And if they are for some reason watching this video, I just want to thank them again for their generosity to pay for our ice cream. That was a nice treat uh, that we didn't really expect. And the owner of the Leopold place and his wife, they were excellent. This is my ice cream cup right here. And this was by far the best, best ice cream that I have ever had. And after that, I took a picture of the, the owner, Mr. Leopold. This is what you see on the photo right here. After that, we just got back on our car and we went to our hotel room where we spent the night. Because the next day, we're going to leave early super early to study driving to head back home so this is it folks thank you so much for tuning in today i truly appreciate your time we had a fun time doing this mini road trip i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you come back soon to enjoy our next adventure stay tuned for the next trip actually the next video will be on the hike you don't want to miss that ciao ciao